All right, today is a new day. We decided to leave Vegas. That was just a spontaneous trip so my partner here could see Vegas for the first time. Did you enjoy yourself? I had fun, yes. It was quite an experience. I hope it you was. can I hope you can hear me uh, with this microphone right here. I had to put the little uh, the windshield on it. It's, it's very windy out here right now. So right now we are stopping at one of the scenic overlooks over here in Nevada. We're still in Nevada? Yeah, I believe so. Correct, over here in Nevada. And I believe, is this the Hoover Dam? I think it is. I think this is the Hoover Dam Overlook? scenic overlook. Is this, is this it's, a- It's a cat on a leash. Okay, this guy has a cat on a leash. That is interesting. Oh my so, God. Right now, I'm going to turn the camera around so that way you can see what I can see and take a look. Little cat. This is very nice. Oh, I think that's Lake Mead. This is Lake Mead. That's Lake Mead. Okay, so this is Lake Mead. Correction. The views are super nice. Ah, uh, okay, right here. Sign. As you can see, this is the parking lot. There we're the, off to the side right here of the highway for the scenic view. It's very, very nice over here. It's a nice little area they set up. The overlook is absolutely fabulous. We're gonna continue on to the Hoover Dam. The next stop is Phoenix. Let's continue on to the Hoover Dam. you know if we make it through go oh. all right peace hi hello hi. how's it going we made it through the security point of the uh hoover dam they like search your car or whatever like that but it's nothing it's nothing serious there you go you got some rules whenever you come and you're visiting the hoover dam steps that'll bring you to the scenic view. We're gonna read some of these placards here. I'll show you up there in a little bit. All right, just know guys, it's a trek to the top. Mm -hmm. And it's hot as hell out. You can take two ways, you can take stairs, or you can take the uh, path right here. So the Hoover Dam, at least on this side, the Nevada side, or maybe both sides, is a place where you are going to see a lot of tourists, as you can see behind me and in front of me. But it's obvious, guys, because this is, this is like a historical place. So, we're on our way to Phoenix, so we're stopping down here right now to see the Hoover Dam, and I just can't even believe the size of this thing. I'm a little nervous now. I absolutely hate heights. Absolutely hate heights. And I actually think, on our way to Phoenix, we're gonna be driving over that, right? On our way to Phoenix? I think so. Like or actually, it might be this bridge. I'm not sure. But again, guys, there was no fee 
There was no fee to come in here. It was free. And this is the site you get to see. This is the view. Absolutely incredible. This is awesome. You can see a little boat down there. It's right over here. That'd be pretty cool. So what do you think? It's impressive. <laughs> Overall, my experience at the Hoover Dam was pretty good. I would suggest that people go. Just know that there are a lot of tourists here. A lot of people come here, obviously. That's expected. And um, now we're gonna continue the drive to Phoenix. Peace. We got a couple bulls or cows just chilling. We are in Chloride, Arizona. We just we just found some random random road at the end of the town and we took it and it says that there's some murals this way. So that's where we're heading. I wasn't even going to record this, but I feel like I feel like this is video worthy. So we're going to go check it out. And we'll see. We'll see if we even make it there. Well, we were going to go up there and see the mural, but it's too far of a walk and we don't want to risk the car going up that part over there. So we're going to walk back and continue our drive.
All right, here we are in Old Town Scottsdale. And I was gonna start this video somewhere else, but we just had a really good experience at this native artisan market. If you guys are in Old Town Scottsdale, let's keep walking. If you guys are in Old Town Scottsdale, make sure you stop at this native market right here. It is, you wanna go this way? Yeah, let's go that way. It is the only the first and only. It is the first and only Native American owned market here in Old Town Scottsdale. The hospitality in there was absolutely amazing. All artists from different tribes in Arizona sell their work there and all the proceeds, anything that you buy goes directly to that artist. I had to get myself a nice I think it's considered a bangle. Yeah. This is, I met the artist personally, talked to him. What'd you get? I got a copper bangle. She got a, I think that's Be careful behind copper. You. Yeah, this is copper. Yeah, she got one as well. And you guys, uh, yeah, I was gonna start the video somewhere else, but we're here now. By the way, let me just cut right into it. After you guys saw us at Lake Mead or Hoover Dam, we drove into Phoenix, got here late last night, had dinner, went to downtown Phoenix. That was quite an experience. And then today we woke up, had breakfast, and now we're here in Old Town Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some walking around. I'm gonna make sure I share some sites with you and experiences that I have. And um, for right now, we're just gonna continue walking around. You guys, the market was excellent. And that's about it. Let's take a look. What do we got going on? A party? <laughs> we got another party? Oh, here we go, taking selfies. Going to work, taking a selfie. Going to work, taking selfies. She's like, come visit me. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get copyrighted. Old Town. This is a stable. All right, everybody, so this right here is where Old Town Scottsdale started. These olive trees were planted right here in the 1890s by a man named Winfield Scott. As I've said before, he purchased this land back in the early 1880s, 640 acres. And this right here, where I'm standing, is the start of it. We're gonna keep walking. I think right now we're gonna go get some, what are we getting, like a smoothie? Juice. Oh, we're getting like a juice. There's some juice place up here. We're gonna go check it out. And then possibly an art museum, I'm not sure. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we found our way to the Salt River because it was so hot out, we needed to cool off. And here we are. I think we're at, I'm not even sure which lot we're at. I'm gonna have to probably switch over to the GoPro. Um, there's quite a lot of people down here. There's a little bit of a current. Let's go down and see what we're doing. Are, let's yeah, go down, let's, let's go down go real down. quick. Let's go down real quick, yeah? Which way do you wanna go? We'll go this way. I've switched over to the GoPro. We are now at the Coon Bluff section of the Salt River, and we were trying to find a place to go in. I have my microphone hooked up right now. I'll probably end up taking it off uh, here when we get in, so I could take the so I could take the microphone or the GoPro with me. Um, I'm not sure exactly. You want to keep going up this way? Yeah, we have to go down. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I guess we got to walk in over here. It looks pretty nice. The water's flowing. I mean, these people are in over there, so... I'm not even going to lie. I'm nervous about snakes and all that. 
because <laughs> because uh yeah i'm just deathly afraid of snakes <clears throat> all right maybe we can go in over here hopefully these people won't mind all right here we are we made it to the salt river we didn't think that we were going to get a spot because there are quite a bit of people here but you guys the water is nice this is awesome there's literally wild horses out over here in the distance and I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. I've read all about them. I've seen them on videos, but I didn't actually think I was going to get to see them. Right now, we're going to take a little dip, and maybe after, we'll walk that way and see if we can't get the horses on camera. But for now, let's take a dip. Oh, that felt good. We'll go. No. Come on, come on, get in, get in. Hurry up. Go. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm dip, not ready. Dip, 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 dip. Oh yeah, no, no. yeah, we don't gotta get her. Oh. Alright. Alright. This feels really good right now. And I'm not sure if there's any snakes in this water or not, but I don't think there is. I know. Oh, this is great. And you guys, we got the mountains. Is there seaweed? Yeah. We got the we got the mountains over here. This is this is nice. This is super nice. This is nice on the walk. You get cactuses and horse poop. Changing locations now. We're gonna try to see if uh, we can't go more upriver. See if we can't get just a tad bit closer to the horses. I wanna see if I could take some pictures. But you gotta watch your step. All right, here we are in the Salt River. I believe this is Mesa, Arizona, and we have wild horses right here. This is stuff that I seen on YouTube that I didn't think I was gonna actually see in person. And here I am in person actually seeing that. That's crazy. I got the microphone up here again. I just had my GoPro out. Amazing. Uh, we're just out here. Relaxing, enjoying the weather. I think we're gonna go get some food soon. You guys, this has been a crazy, what, it's been five days? This yeah. has been a crazy five days. We've landed in Phoenix, went to Sedona, went to Cathedral Rock, went to Slide Rock State Park, which was highly recommended by the way. Decided to take a spontaneous trip to Vegas. Came back to Phoenix, our original plan. <laughs> and now we're literally in the Salt River with- Horses. Wild horses. We're just feeding right now. Cooling off, I'm sure. It's honestly, it's honestly amazing to me that, I mean, I know that, you know, they survive out here and whatnot, but just how they can survive out here, like that's just crazy. Like, and they look healthy too. Like they don't look bad. journey at the Salt River ends 
heading back to Phoenix or I guess wherever. But going to get something to eat right now, so if it's interesting, I'll share.